A question we get asked a lot is, how do I improve my photos underwater? And believe it or not, there's a few simple things you can do without actually taking a lot of photos underwater. One, of course, is become a good diver. And the second is really understand your camera. Now this one is, it sounds very logical and intuitive, but you'd be surprised on how complicated these cameras can be. So in addition to fully understanding your camera, understand what you can do to customize it. So there's three major aspects that I look at customizing initially on any camera, and it's changing the shutter button to start-stop video when shooting video, and specifically on a camera like this, like the R5, I like to have a button that I can toggle between the electronic viewfinder and the LCD screen, and I also like to have a button that I can toggle between shooting video and shooting still. And then having those three things really keeps me from having to fumble around with different controls, and I can focus on creating images. So let's start with the first one, that's changing the shutter button to start and stop video. When you're in video mode on this camera, the R5, hit menu, and you have your first tab, which is the camera menu. So scroll over to page seven, and it's the second choice here. You see shutter button function for movies. So when you press the set button, uh, and then scroll down to the second choice, here you can choose between no function and start stop movie record. So you're gonna wanna select this one. Once you have that selected, you'll be able to start and stop video with your shutter. Now in the housing, that's gonna make a big difference because your hand's gonna be at a handle on the right hand side and you won't have to take your hand off to start and stop your video. So the next thing is gonna be on the R5 specifically here, we're going to change the electronic viewfinder and the LCD screen at the touch of a button. Because it's in a housing, we've lost our proximity sensor here on the back. So go into your menu, and then on the second camera tab page, which is all the way over here, go to page three, and then go down to customize buttons. And you're gonna see two columns. You're gonna see one on the left, and that's when you're in the camera shooting still mode, and on the right is what the button's gonna do when you're in the video mode. So again, we're not gonna go into all the customization here, but there's just these few. You can really change it to be whatever suits your shooting needs. But let's specifically go, the way I have it set up is that the star button, I will have that selected here. And if you hit the set button, you get all of your choices that you can set this to. Um, and if you scroll down, you'll see on the second to last row is this switch between VF and screen. So if you select that, uh, you'll do that with the touch of the star button, it'll go between your electronic viewfinder and your LCD screen. So if you find yourself wanting to shoot with the LCD screen, or especially if you have an electronic viewfinder that you have a magnified viewfinder on the housing, that's super useful. Um, and then if we scroll over to video, you'll notice that I have it set to the exact same thing. Um, and that's because I will want to do that when I'm shooting still or video. Um, so moving on to the next button is going to be the MFN button. That's gonna be right up on the front where you'd hit with your right index finger. Um, now that, again, I have set for both video and still, and I have that set to switch between shooting video and shooting stills. So in order to get to that, again, click set, and you'll notice it's about midway down on the rows, and it has an icon where the camera and a video camera. Uh, select that one, and now that uh, MFN button's gonna let you toggle between those two settings. Again, keeping you from having to hit the mode, and then info. So it sounds super simple, it's because it is. Um, it really helps you increase your chances of getting better pictures.